Hi, this is the presentation. I'm going to go super fast. This is about the, uh, this started in a meeting in Granada. That was a follow-up of a meeting in Berno during the Czech presidency. And we created a, a manifest talking about the, the problem. Uh, the need of controlling light pollution, mainly because of environmental impact, and all the regulations, even international regulations that request this protection. Even light pollution is a kind of pesticide, but a pe kind of pesticide that we are not controlling and is killing a lot of pollinators. Well, mainly what we want to do is control the total amount of emissions in different colors, also the connectivity and also the landscape, because if we don't do these three things, we can screw up locally some places. Uh, satellite data, as a, they, we have a lot of techniques to do all this like using satellite data, like BIRS, DMSP, SDGSAT, lighting inventories, uh, photometers. We have not networks of photometers, DSLR cameras, uh, fish eyes, modeling, like Skyglow, Illumina, many others. The EU have spent a lot of money and in, in light pollution through the years. And but even light pollution is still growing. No? And and when is because we are not actually controlling our policies and, and telling the people where is happening this, this increase. Even in Europe, even the if you measure wrongly, yeah, you can think that it is not increasing light pollution. But we see that the blue light here is actually increasing. Also, the light pollution can travel very, very far, up to 300 uh, kilometers. In this case, from the Pyrenees, this light pollution, that means that impacts nearly every protected area in, in Europe is, is uh, impacted by light pollution, but usually is not reported, even if we have other maps, even from satellite, that shows that there is light pollution nearly everywhere. There is some technical problems. That's why you need professionals that now are trained on this topic, for example, uh, beers and DMSP don't see the this infrared light assist. This infrared light don't, don't have impact in, in environment, but the blue light of LEDs do have. And this is a, is a problem, for example, even if we have different satellites and that's why we need color satellites, that for example, if you use beers, you would think that it's a color reduction in beers of 50%. But actually, when you check with the ISS in color, we don't see nearly no changes because the municipality of Milan really wanted to do it like that. But the change in percentage of blue light increased by 37%. And the total amount was at 27%. We have maps. We are creating maps on, on color of, of Europe, and we want to do this globally. We need to control all this scheme and how and evaluate our policies to see if we are doing well or, or change the, the policies and see. The, the dangers of using something that you don't know how it works, think that you have done a reduction, or even it's, or even that maybe you look flat for you when it's actually increasing. In other places like Madrid, for example, this reduction probably was was true in this time, and now again we are we are increasing again. And this will be real, but even larger because of the change of color, and even we can find uh, changes in regulation because, of course, about this commercial center here was detected that they would start to turn off the light in late at night thanks to, to the, this satellite. So we really have the techniques to monitor the light pollution. What we don't have is the resources to do it. Thank you very much. I hope um, I can answer some questions to you. I'll give a more detailed talk uh, other day.